Nobody plays Pokemon Go anymore. Why are you still playing that game? Pokemon Go is dead. Hi, hello, yes, I still play Pokemon Go. I've actually genuinely had comments like this either tweeted at me, called out in public when I'm with friends, I've seen them being called out to others in public or online in relation to playing Pokemon Go because of in other people's eyes it's a fad that's passed, it's a dead game and today I wanted to make a video about this fad and dead game that is in no way a dead game. Personally, I don't think Pokemon Go is anywhere near being called a dead game. You just have to look at Niantic and how many people turn up whenever they announce brand new events like legendary raids or brand new Gen 2 Pokemon appearing or just like double candy or anniversary events. People appear en masse and they play this game. Here's an image my friend Joe Merritt posted on Twitter from Anaheim where a Lugia popped up whilst Kangaskhan and Unknown are spawning. For those of you that don't know, Unknown are super rare Pokemon that like spell out the alphabet letters and they're really really hard to find. Occasionally they'll pop up en masse around events which Niantic have been doing recently. For example the Pokemon Worlds that are currently happening in Anaheim, California, they spell out Worlds. There is also Kangaskhan who is a rare Pokemon that can only be found in Australia, however recently Niantic made him pop up around European cities and Anaheim where they have the Pokemon World tournaments happening right now so there are a lot of people around there excited for Kangaskhan and unknown. Back to the image. So as you can see in this image there are a lot of people playing Pokemon Go. I mean either they're all playing Pokemon Go or they're just all mobbing around this one guy in the fountain horrified that there's this one guy playing Pokemon Go. Oh my god how is he still playing Pokemon Go? No. <laughs> like they're, just, they're playing Pokemon Go. They're having a great time and the game is very much still alive. It's just one of those things that just seems like a very easy comeback to say, yeah, that game's dead because I'm not playing it anymore. You're not playing it, I'm still playing it, other people are still playing it, it's not dead. You see this whole, you're still playing thing with a lot of trends. And I remember it going a similar way when I used to play Pokemon cards as a kid. There was this one like really, really nasty bully kid who, as a child, decided to belittle me and make me feel really, really bad for still enjoying and playing Pokemon cards. And I was a kid, so back then I genuinely did take offense to this and like it made me feel really embarrassed for liking Pokemon and there were a good few years where I kept this whole like of this franchise to myself and it wasn't until I was an adult where I think I was more happy and open to being like hey I really enjoy this thing this is a really fun game or this is fun and I enjoy this franchise I love collecting these things I love playing these games and realizing that humans are different because someone likes something doesn't mean you have to like it and because someone dislikes something it doesn't mean you have to stop liking it or playing it and I think it just happens with a lot of trends where people will look at something and go, oh, you're still playing that? No, it's dead game because of they're not playing it anymore. And I mean, Pokemon Go hit like a massive trend. I remember when it first came out and you could literally see someone walking down the street with their phone like this and take a guess that they were probably playing Pokemon Go or look over and see that they were genuinely playing Pokemon Go. I think it's just one of those things where the game had that shaky launch with the servers and a lot of people got bored very rapidly and stopped playing the game or even moved on to the next fad. In this case, fidget spinners fight me. I've always loved Pokemon. I grew up with the cards, the anime and the video games and it's just always been a source of entertainment for me. I've always geeked out over Pokemon and I've just like, it's been one of those franchises that has stuck with me as I've grown up. It's just a really fun franchise and I've loved it all my life. And when Pokemon Go was announced, I was so excited for this concept of just like being able to go out and like play in the real world, hunt down Pokemon via VR and AR because I am also a massive VR and AR nerd. So when that came out, it was just, it was such a fun thing. And then when it finally came out, when Pokemon Pokemon Go finally launched. I just remember that, that moment where like, I loaded up that loading screen and the music started playing and I'm just like, this is so cool and then you see your first Pokemon pop up and you swipe up a ball and you catch it and it seems so like such a minor action but then then you go wander down the road and another one pops up and then you realize that you and your friend can see the exact same one and you can wander around with friends and it's not a race to see who can get it first, it's everyone has a chance to get it and it's very collaborative and fun and it was just, it was such a fun experience. I mean, sure, there was that horrible loading screen of death when the servers went down initially that we don't like talking about, but that passed. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people remember that with Pokemon Go and their immediate response is, yeah, well, I tried playing Pokemon Go when it first came out and it didn't work. It's like, have you tried since like, two weeks after the game came out. Gyms have changed, you can have a little buddy Pokemon. My buddy is a giant Moltres because I am a Valor person. You can catch legendary and rare Pokemon through raids where you meet up with other people and catch things. London is no longer full of drowsy. It is full of like many diverse kinds of Pokemon. It's just, the game, like any other game, has come a long way and it's updated over the time. It's like looking back on YouTube years ago and you see that YouTube like in 2000 whatever looked like this and now it looks like this. I mean, some people would say that back then some of it was better, but still, 
I see people my age playing Pokemon Go, I see younger people playing Pokemon Go, I see elderly people playing Pokemon Go, I see parents playing Pokemon Go with their kids, making their own accounts so they can play along, often showing up without the kids because they got so hooked on the game themselves, it's quite funny to watch and it's just, it's this really diverse player base and it's really cool to see how many people have been captivated by Pokemon Go and have got involved with it. So I honestly do not think Pokemon Go is a dead game. I've had a lot of fun playing it and I really hope I can have a lot of fun playing it in the future. I have a lot of friends who enjoy playing it. I see many others enjoy playing this game and it is far from being called a dead game. I'm level 38 in the game because I play it whenever I get free time and I really do enjoy playing it. I've completed the European and the American Pokedex. I've got Corsola, Heracross and Taurus. I've also got a Kangaskhan now so I've completed, I pretty much got everything but um, Farfetch which is a Pokemon that's in Japan. So if I ever get to go to Japan, I've not been to Japan yet, so hopefully I can go sometime soon. I've also decided that I really want to start making some videos around Pokemon Go but I'm not going to make them on this channel because I don't think that this channel is as focused around Pokemon or gameplay. So I'm going to start using my old gaming channel, Team Button Mash, that I made with Liam Dryden and film some gameplay videos for Pokemon Go, as well as some cool Nintendo Switch gameplay videos. So I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing to Team Button Mash. There's a link down below if you're ever a fan of me, because there'll be content with me doing like face camera gaming this time, because it's Pokemon Go and other gaming, or if you're a fan of Pokemon Go, because I'm really gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna talk about my gameplay, my gameplay style, and go out and catch some Pokemon in the wild and take you guys with me on adventures. This is gonna be the closest I probably get to doing legit day vlogs so there is that. I'll throw a link down below. I still enjoy Pokemon Go. I'm going to start making some Pokemon Go videos on a separate channel and I'm going to see you guys very soon. Bye.